kita menanti dan sekarang ini ayo sama-sama kita saksikan untuk pertarungan ketiga alright we're ready for round not round we're ready for fight number three and now it's a fight between two opposite ends of the Malay Peninsula on one end we have right, Vietnam all the way north hailing from Ho Chi Minh from the black corner in the lightweight category we present to you Ha Kuok Mat well after some rousing speeches. We are back on the fight card. Anthony Sunday joining me in the commentary box as we get to fight number three, Anthony. Wait, fight number two, of course, curtailed a little bit. It was an early decision by the referee, or in fact, it was an early decision by Noshakina to tap out, but we never actually saw the tap out on the screens. Yes, it was very, very quick. It was a, at a fight we expected that was going to go, we was going to yeah, get off to a way. very, yeah. very good start, and it did, but all of a sudden, without even hitting the one-minute mark, there was That's a right. tap out, and so declared the winner that time was Audrey Lara. That's right, the Ice Comet, as she is known. Now, maybe she'll be making an appearance. Some of the other fight nights will be happening. Or the challenge I wouldn't nights. be surprised. I yeah. wouldn't be surprised. That was a very impressive performance it was, she came it up was. with. And as we said, as the fighters get their tap downs, this is Vietnam taking on Singapore. If you did look at it as a national competition, Ha Quoc Dat against Mohamed Solihin from Singapore. And now we're going to refocus on the gentleman here. That's right. This is the lightweight class. So 70.3 kilograms is the weight we're dealing with. We will be hitting super heavyweight at some point later on. Fight number eight is the schedule for that. Looks like a bit of grease, a bit of Vaseline there. And of course, that Vaseline is applied yeah. by the pat down gentleman. So it's got to be standard for both fighters. Well, it is. And even then, in the first two fights alone, we saw that. Uh, um, you know, the damage that was being done. Silat, don't forget, as much as it is steeped in tradition, as we're seeing right now with the uh, handing over of the Tajak, the headscarf, it is also brutal in its um, effectiveness. And what we saw early in the first two fights was immediate welts turning up on the face and immediate red patches just, just in three rounds. Just think of it in terms of the bigger martial arts and the bigger boxing forum. You can't have a 10 round, 12 round silat fight because there'd be too much damage done. Exactly, and that's why we only go three rounds of three minutes each. Let's now meet the other fighter coming in. This Mohammed from Solihim from Singapore. Here he is, just as you were thinking, if you saw that first person come out on your screen and thought, well, that's a big pick for lightweight, that was the security guard. <laughs> and I'm sure he's kicking on super heavyweight. That's 120 kilograms, isn't that super heavyweight? Weight classes make all the difference in fight rings. Oh, yes, it they? definitely does. But, you know, when it gets to Silat here, we're going to be able to see just how much talent they can bring inside this that's ring of true. ours. That's very true. Within this seven meter circle that is the ring, the one thing you got to remember about Silat, like a lot of the other martial arts, a lot is dependent on weight, on your position. So it's not just um, absolute massive hits here, here and there and there. You could suddenly go from extreme damage hits to the lightest off-putting weight balance shift. And that would give you the advantage in that area to possibly go for the takedown or the lock. So once again, it really depends on what kind of a strategy he and his corner has devised here to be able to take on his opponent. So whoever is able to really impose his will on yeah. the other will come out the victor here and that's what it, that's another uh, way that sila has been uh, described and kind of differentiated from the likes of wing chung that's about moving towards your opponent and this in a sense sila is moving through your opponent it has literally got that much forward motion from the compression and the explosion of the, of the arms and the limbs and the body that you're meant to literally devastate your opponent as it comes out which is essentially what we saw with audrey laura in the second fight 
That's exactly right. And, you know, in the first two fights, we haven't actually seen a scissors attack yet, but yeah. which actually is one of the most exciting moves that you can actually see here in Silla. Yeah, yeah. In fact, in all the research that I've been doing after this night, pretty much everything that you've seen has been that immediate scissor takedown. Maybe the opportunity hasn't turned out. Well, these two, um, as you can see from the tail of the tape, are hard just that centimeter higher, both hitting the weight class bang on, and both seal up proponents. This is going to be interesting because there's no mixture or dilution of the styles here at all. It should be very close contact and a lot of fists and punches. They're called hand destructions, believe it or not. <laughs> the actual term for it in Silat is hand destruction because when you attack with your hands in Silat, that hand that you were attacking is not meant to come back. It's not meant to just be pushed aside. It's meant to be destroyed. Now, as I said, competition rules mean that some of those lethal moves have been taken out for good measure, simply to protect the fighters. But uh, with two Silat proponents here, should be interesting. AJ Pyro, the referee for this one. Corner. And now once again they're going to go through the Forms, eight steps. Yep, the eight steps, the jurus. Quick and to the point for Ha. And a little bit more complicated from Mohammed. I was gonna say a little bit more flair. <laughs> you could say that. Now, some of the early fixed um, styles, of course, in, in Silat were like a lot of martial arts based on animal fixtures. As you can see, animal postures. Okay, you know the, rules. the deer, the tiger, the dragon, the snake. Most of those, well, I should say, as opposed to the knowledge of Bruce Lee, have not been put to rest, but they've been put to their own perfect corners of the martial arts spectrum. And here we go, our third fight of the night. Ha! Huh? Up against Mohammed. One, one. Very interesting Judge. indeed. Said two Judge. Silat fighters, Nine. purists. Mulay. Touch of the fist and we're off. And look at that. Immediate kick. Trading kicks. And a little bit of grappling here. Kick, and here's a grapple. That's a great takedown. That is a great takedown. The speed of it. Lanka, Lanka. Now... Ahmed Salian just possibly wondering is the amount of force that was thrown at him just then. No elbow. No elbow, Back into another grapple. These grapples just 10 seconds long, of course. And this time we have Mohammed finding himself on top. He's taking the back here. Might be down on punches, but that takedown's equal. Now that was a reverse takedown. On the floor, he's back up again. Ahmed Salian just looking. And again, both these gentlemen just going straight at each straight other. Straight at it. That's exactly what the fans want. That's what everybody wants from Juan Silat. Quick grapple. Standing no grapple there. Both looking for the no advantage to take it down to the floor. Trying to go for the takedown. And on top once again is Muhammad. Still not all four limbs down, so he's allowed to attack. And he is um, raining down some punches, just some rabbit punches to the side of the head. Now you'd be surprised the amount of damage those punches do. In all martial arts, you never really see them, those rabbit punches, but they're the ones that make the difference. And they start to hurt you really in the yeah, latter part yeah. of the fight, if it actually gets there. Nice left once again by oh, Mohammed. Oh, beautiful left. Looking for the spinning back fist. Hart comes out with the front kick. It's being ped back here. That's what we like. Continuous action. Two minutes in. Another spinning oh, back fist. That definitely caught him. It caught Solon and he's on the floor. And AJ Pyro is going to call a halt to this battle. It's been called already. I think Solon took a big hit to the head. That was a great spinning back fist there coming from Hakwok that. As you can see, his gum shield is having to be removed. Now, we have been stressing as to exactly how devastating these punches can be. And maybe with the help of a replay, we've got the medical team on our left, the judges on our right. Medical team are up already. 
And Solihan has been dazed and knocked out by the looks of it. Well done to both fighters. As you said, Anthony, it's exactly what we wanted to see. Ha is just biding his time in the corner. Jivan, I think that looked like a left spinning it back did. fist. It did. It looked like a... And Ha's already got his flag out. I don't think Salan's going to be allowed to continue. He's already waved out. They're just making sure he's okay. Here is the replay. Well, there was that early takedown a while ago from Mohammed, but he fell on the mat and he had a couple of punches there and even a kick to the body. He was off position at that point as well. That's the fist, there you go. That's the one that caught him on the top of the head. It was straight on the deck. And automatically, Mohammed was defenseless. And it looked quite worrying for him for a second. So, Mohammed Solihin from Singapore subs out. He was taking too much of a beating and therefore the winner of fight number three at one Silat. Fighting out of Vietnam, Ha Quoc Dat. Uh, Mohamed Solian still a little bit dazed, as you can see, as he's moving out of the ring. Well done. The Ha Quoc Dat fighting on foreign shores, never easy to do, in front of a very large audience indeed. And as usual, we're going to have the prize presentation by That's right. a lot VIPs. of our friends that have joined us here tonight. As I said, there are, there are some 20 VIPs, all from the different state associations of Silat, that have been given the honors of giving out the prizes and money, not to mention, of course, very high dignitaries from within the sports community in Malaysia as well, be it Olympic, or be it at ministerial level or here to watch the birth of one silat so far lots to talk about from one silat anthony well again it is a very historic night for the sport this i firmly believe will propel it to even greater yep. heights yep it was already raising eyebrows at the fact that there was so, so little protection, but now, as I said, people are seeing it in action. They're seeing exactly how devastating it can be. And we're going to be back with fight number four. Don't go anywhere. Stick with us. One Silat.